today we want to talk about a really exciting new feature of the MP7, which is the acceleration of elephant flows. Before I get into further details, let's first take a look at what it means by elephant flows. Elephant flows essentially are very large size flows in terms of the number of bytes and bandwidth. They are also typically fairly long-lived sessions, typically large transfers and very throughput sensitive. The other key things that we typically see with elephant flows are these scenarios in the data center. So one typical usage in the data center is database cloning, some others are backing up stored data, and the most common probably would be VM migration. And these types of flows typically we would see fall into the category of elephant flows with a lot of traffic and are fairly long lived. Now what's exciting is how NP accelerates this in hardware. Let's take a look at the demo. Before I go into the demo, I wanted to quickly run over how we are running the test. You can see in the top background area, we have the Spiron test center, which we are using to send the elephant flows. The green portion in the middle is the 40 gate 4200F, which is one of our latest NP7 platforms with four NP7s to show the acceleration that NP7 can provide from a hardware perspective. So we show the bandwidth using two of our 100 gig QSFP28 ports ports 17 and 22. And the last one on the right hand corner, we have the CPU. The CPU there we're showing is to illustrate that all of the elephant flows are accelerated by the hardware and no CPU is utilized for processing, giving a really good consistent performance for elephant flows. And lastly, at the bottom, we show the session's output to show you the single elephant flow passing through these two um, 100 gig interfaces, so 100 gigs of bidirectional traffic for the elephant flow. We are ramping up the traffic and the test will run for 360 seconds. As you can see, we see the session output with a single elephant flow. And as the traffic ramps up, you can see the overall bandwidth as well as the flags on the session denoting that it's offloaded by NP7. In total, what we see is 97 gigs of bidirectional traffic because our GUI of the 4200F shows layer 2 traffic. And from the tester, it's clear that we're running 99.2 gigs of bidirectional traffic with close to zero CPU utilization for a session lifetime of fully six minutes and no drop frames. And that concludes um, the demo for today. Let me take a look at the results. To explain a little bit more about the flexibility of the NP7 ASIC, with a single session established at lower frame sizes of 64 bytes or 128 bytes, we are able to reach up to speeds of 75 gigs of aggregated throughput. And in the case of small byte packets, which are typically very difficult for um, to be handled, these are usually not considered as elephant flows because of the small packet sizes. In general, we see elephant flows with much larger packet sizes. But what we want to highlight here is that whether one session or lots of mice flows in this case for small packets, we can see a huge increase in performance with lots of mice flows. And this brings us at 128 byte packets up to about 159 gigs of performance with the same two interfaces, 200 gig QSFP28 interfaces that we were using earlier. So the next one is really to highlight the performance of our ASIC with the single elephant flow. Essentially, Packet sizes beyond um, 128, meaning 512 and above. This is an RFC 25440% packet loss test. We're able to hit the line rate with the 200 gig interfaces that we ran the demo on. I hope this is interesting and really cool for you and you've enjoyed the demo.